hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm featuring another resort called the royal palm it's a uh, tea cooks resort um, it's located in scottsdale uh, phoenix so yeah stay back um, and enjoy this show this is the entrance to the resort it's a very grand entrance with all the palm trees as you can see Again, there is a Camelback Mountain in the background and all the palms are standing tall and majestically looking over the mountains. It's got a beautiful entrance um, fountain. Very soothing sound of the water. The birds are drinking water. It's uh, heaven for the birds. This is a classic um, old resort. It's got a character. It's called the Hacienda type architecture. And you can see the mosaic. Right there is the Camelback Mountain, and this is the Grand Entrance. They have a fire pit over there. It's very cozy and beautiful. So here is um, a sign where they welcome the Royal Palm History Tour and its uh, unique history of the royal palms and how the previous mansions became a resort so yeah this was a mansion years ago turned into a resort so it was originally built in 1929 and then all the transformation so there is a lot of history attached to this hacienda or mansion so there's a nice cupid here so whoever built this mansion had a good taste can you imagine living in this hacienda it's just gorgeous look at this cactus the saguaro the vegetation so now I'm at the back of the mansion where they have a huge um, patio and lovely vegetation so I'm standing right by the restaurant they have tables outdoors. So this resort has beautiful old-fashioned rooms, I'm told. So this is the back part of the resort it just keeps going and going and going it's beautiful back mountain again there's a little courtyard nestled at every direction you walk which is so cute and romantic and at the back here they have this beautiful pool I just noticed this old little gate with wooden doors 
got a lot of character as you can see even the way they lock the door this must be hundreds of years old beautiful archway it's very interesting how they preserve the the old architecture this fountain is so european it's like in italy you have all the tiles and they have more rooms at the back it's a little alley which guides you to your individual rooms it's got a real nice character I'll try and walk up the stairs and show you the rest of the property. It really takes you back in time. Beautiful. These are individual rooms here. And yeah, this is the courtyard. And all the rooms are facing the courtyard gorgeous very peaceful beautiful it has the right name there are palms all over the place so it's got a real nice uh, feeling of being in a little village in Italy or Europe somewhere So they have individual rooms just like here you just get out of the door and you are in this courtyard it's a very homely atmosphere this is like a maze you can just turn a corner and then there is more alleys and more stairs and just beautiful this is Dale and he's going to tell us a little bit about this hotel so Dale how many rooms are there so there's 130 rooms here there's um this uh, gravel right here is really nice. It's a uh, 17th century stone from Mexico. Oh, wow. Yeah, quarried in Mexico. And uh, it's the same as this uh, water fountain over here, too. That's from the same time frame. Oh, okay. And, uh, this place has a lot of history behind it. It used to be a uh, guy's mansion. Let me pull up his name real quick, actually. <laughs> I guess I don't have it, but uh, it used to be a wealthy man's mansion, and then they decided to turn it into a hotel, and this is where I get to work now, and I love it. And there are 130 rooms? 130 rooms, yeah. Okay. Very small. It's only 13 acres wide, and uh, some of the most beautiful sightseeing you'll see. There's, uh, down the north side, there's a bunch of spots with beautiful flowers and scenery. There's uh, orange trees growing back there. There's a whole pathway back there for you to just get lost in. It's just amazing. I would recommend it. Yeah. Totally. How many restaurants do you have here? Just the one. It's a restaurant okay. and bar. It's called Tea Cooks. Okay. And uh, the bar is called the Mix-Up Bar. Okay. Wonderful. And you've been working here for a long time? Uh, I've been here since September, yeah. Okay. There, there have been people much longer than me, okay. but uh, I gotta say, this is one of the best jobs I have ever been in. Wonderful, I enjoy. Yeah, you like what you're doing. Definitely. Wonderful. I get to drive. Um, I'm not necessarily 
with the hotel. I'm a third party um, company. So this concludes the tour of the Palms Resort. It has a lot of history and all these stones that you see in the driveway here are 17th century stones. So yeah, it's amazing. And this mansion, whoever owned it, is a class. So I hope you enjoyed the tour and uh, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.